how would you, um, I guess, characterize and rate what we've seen so far in terms of uh, the Fed response? Uh, obviously, we're going to see the, the fiscal coming down the road, but the way the Fed handled what it has uh, announced last night and, and what's likely to come next. Yeah, I think the assessment from us is that the Fed response was an overall upside surprise, but it's probably better in some areas than we saw it and worse in others. The, the, the better than expected was on the agency MBS purchases, the lower discount window, uh, keeping the commitment kind of open-ended. Uh, worse than expected was not necessarily getting the CP facility. But I think from our economist perspective, the important thing to keep in mind is until we got some credible sense as to when the disruption from the virus is going to uh, peak, then, you know, Fed moves are more about kind of liquidity in markets than they are about the economy. And then you're supposed to be thinking about what the D.C. fiscal response is, as you were just talking about. And what, at this point, how do you handicap um, what is going to be in this fiscal stimulus bill? Um, and is it, you know, is it likely to be uh, enough, at least from the market's perspective? Yeah, I mean, that's the right question to ask. So I'd say, first of all, for, from our perspective, about a week ago, we kind of shifted and said having a fiscal stimulus response is not really a question of if anymore. It's kind of uh, how and when. And I think the benchmarks we've set up is, you know, what you want to see from a fiscal response here is it's got to send kind of two messages. One, it's got to send the message that people and co companies aren't going out of business because of this, because they have to take safety measures. That sort of requires the targeted liquidity um, issues that you see in the House bill, temporary paid leave, things that we expect you might see, like uh, business loans and tax breaks. And then, you know, part two is you got to build faith in a V-shaped recovery. That means the kind of big fiscal expansion. It doesn't necessarily get people out of their houses in the short term, uh, but it does put capital in the system so that the animal spirits are there uh, for when this does pass. Um, you know, I'd say we're kind of agnostic on is, does that come in the form of state and local grants? Does it come in the form of tax cuts? Um, we're agnostic on that as long as it's a, a big enough number. Hey, Michael, it's Carl. Um, two, two questions. Maybe you can handle them both here. Uh, is the Senate uh, trying to make uh, the perfect the enemy of the good, in your view? And do, are the Germans uh, really getting religion on urgency here? Yeah, so I, I, I'm far from expert on what the, the Germans might be doing here. Uh, and on the Senate, I'd say I'm an observer like everyone else. It's hard to know exactly what's going on in their internal process. I will just say that obviously D.C. tends to move slowly, but also these are kind of complicated issues to deal with, right? So for giving a pay expansion and sort of paid temporary leave, there really isn't a, a prior mechanism for that. So there is something you have to set up in terms of are you mandating states, are you pumping money to them to do that? Those are a little more complex than they sound. So some of this is just operationally fixing some of the safety net issues that preexisted. Right. But do you get the sense that response this time around versus the crisis will be uh, less apologetic, uh, where speed is more of the essence? Uh, I think there's a good chance that that's the way it'll play out. Unlike the financial crisis, there really isn't much of a moral hazard issue here, right? You're, you're not sort of rescuing folks from making poor decisions from themselves. I don't think that's really lost on anyone. And in fact, I think it probably helps speed things along, not that this is a good thing, but it probably helps speed things along when the OPEC plus arrangement um, collapsed a couple weeks ago because it sort of made the economic risks sort of acute and live in a number of states uh, where representatives from Congress might have been resistant to thinking about economic impacts from the flu. Uh, any way to, to handicap whether this response is also going to mean targeted backstops of individual industries and, uh, and things like that, whether it's airlines or something else? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm watching the news just like you guys are. I mean, certainly there's some precedent for that from uh, from the response after September 11th. So I, I think it's something that is going to be considered.